Hi everybody, I'm Sultan and in today's video I'm going to Krakow, I'm going to show you the city, I'm going to tell you 25 different ways to spend your money and time in Krakow. of the video will be about platform, how to meet new people, learn new traditions and the main part is how to find people who is gonna host you during your trip. Let me tell you briefly about five different ways to travel in Poland. So the first one, take a flight. Second one, use BlaBlaCar. The third one, you can rent a car and travel. The fourth one, take a train. And the fifth one, you can take a bus. I'm going to Krakow, so see you there! By the way, I'm moving out from Zeshev, so I'm going to Krakow to visit my friends and uh, then I don't know where I'm going to live, so let's see! And don't forget to get some food in our tree! is the first city I went to travel. Right now I can surely say that that's the best city in Poland for me. I've been in Krakow over 20 times and I never got bored by walking on these streets. different ways to spend your time in Krakow. Take a boat cruise on the Vistula river. You can have an unforgettable emotions in Muzzle Maid. You can try your f flying skill in bungee jumping. You're a new skill at the shooting range. You can try to talk to parrots. Ride a horse in the city center of Krakow. Amazing cosmic mini golf. You can spend time in laser park. Breeze taking paraglides. And they have also paintball here. Mm -hmm. 
Carson. You can try new skill by throwing axes. Do archery. Experience yourself in flight simulator. If you like something unusual in Krakow, you can find quiz or escape rooms. VR pubs. Bubble football. If we make a step back to the history, you can visit Schindler's Museum leading from the periods of 1939 to 1945. Take a tour to Auschwitz-Birkenau, the biggest gas and concentration camp. But let's take a step forward. One hour away from Krakow, located the biggest aqua and amusement park. And the name of it is Energy Line. Also, in one of the Krakow museums, located a picture belonging to the brush of Leonardo da Vinci, Lady with an Ermine. Also, if you like mountains, two hours away from Krakow, you can go to the most popular place in Poland, Zakopane. Krakow, it's a lot more than city. In the city center there are lots of bars and restaurants where you could try Polish beer. In Poland there you can find lots of bar mleczny. It's like a restaurant but with cheap cheap dishes, you know, national dish. So I'm going to this restaurant and I'm going to try something Polish. I just finished eating pierogi. It was very good. And by the price it was cheap. And you can find this place in the city center. I'm in love with this city. If you are visiting Krakow, just try to be here three to five days. It's going to be quite enough for you.
We come to our second part of the video. Let me tell you how I meet new people in different part of the world. In 2015, I moved to Poland and registered in one app. The name of it, Couchsurfing. You can meet and host people on your own place and they can do the same. By this amazing platform, I met people in Lisboa, Madrid, London, Glasgow, Budapest and uh, Amsterdam. Okay, let me tell you how to use this platform. You go to App Store, you find Couchsurfing, install it and register. I have my own account and I'm going to show you how it looks like. Let's start from profile. Go to edit button on the right top corner of the screen. Status and uh, depends on what situation you are now. You can either accept guests or uh, maybe accepting guests or maybe you don't have time for this right now. So next section is about me. In that section, tell about yourself, what hobbies you have, interests, uh, what kind of music you listen, why you are using this app and just um, write something about you, that's it. Next section is your home and preferences. In that section, tell about your home, what is allowed in your place and what is not. Maybe you are allowing to have some kids or pet, pets or maybe to smoke or not. Next section is overview section. In that section, you write what, what kind of countries you have visited, where have you lived, what languages do you speak and you are learning right now or you want to learn. Also add your address and save it. Everything will be written here in section photos, add some of yours, have, where have you been traveling. You can add friends if you have someone who is using the same platform as you are. If you are hosting someone, it will be written here in your calendar, in your hosting section. Let's go to dashboard. So for example, if you're from big city, you can see events here, you know, what's happening nearby. You can send message there or you can visit this place. If you are traveling somewhere, you can create a public trip, choose dates, place where you're going, brief um, description about your trip. Maybe you're going there with someone and um, people who is from that country or city they can see that uh, messages and they can accept you or not. Or maybe they can just hang out with you. Maybe they want to meet with you. Let's imagine you're traveling alone. No friends, mates or buddies. You feel awkward and you want to meet some people. Go to hangout section. Text, I wanna grab some beer or drink some tea, walk around the city and post it and if you're in a big city for example like amsterdam london prague or somewhere like this uh, for sure there are going to be some people who is also alone and they are looking for someone who wants to hang out okay next section is uh, search for example you're traveling to some country it can be netherlands britain spain italy etc and you write any country there any city for example amsterdam you type amsterdam you find some host who is living there and you <clears throat> you are choosing dates type and uh, type so uh, type how many people are going with you then uh, choose some filters maybe there are some languages that you can speak also you can choose gender you can choose uh, pet allowed or something like this and there are you there you can see big lists of like 20 50 000 people and from that people you should choose the one who who is more attractive to you choose some people go to their profile read carefully their uh, description or write a unique message to to each person you are you're requesting a stay <clears throat> do not copy paste one message to hundred peoples because every message should be unique to the host 
so try to read carefully and pay attention to the details. I remember my first Couchsurfing experience. I have sent more than 50 messages to different people and no one was accepting. And I know it takes a lot of time to send message to each person and you should read their um, you should read their profiles because your message should be <clears throat> different than the previous one because every person is different and they have their own hobbies interests and you should write um, some exclusive uh, message to get their attention to you and after 50 messages i got uh, accepted and uh, i was very happy and i can say that that it's worth it. Uh, first of all, it's free. For lots of people, it's very important. But for me, people are more important because you, when you are traveling somewhere, you are going to be hosted by the person who is uh, living there. That means he's local because uh, that host knows what kind of places you should visit or he's gonna tell you some advices, some tips, and that's very nice. They will tell you where to go, what kind of um, restaurants to visit, where to get national food, um, some events maybe going around there. And if you're going by Couchsurfing program, just make sure you're taking maybe some small gift from your own country. So it will be very respectful from your side. It can be some chocolate or magnet or some keychain you know and that would be very pleasure of you and the next section is about travelers in that section you can see who is going to your country to your city and there can be some people who wants just to meet and you can send them a message you can talk to them you can advise them some places or some restaurants maybe you will find your soulmate over there in events section you see what's going on in inbox you see all the messages you have been receiving or sending to the people also i want to mention if you are not verified member uh, you are gonna get limit messages for example if you want to travel somewhere the limit of sending your messages will be 20 messages i know that's very small but uh, if you get verified membership it's gonna cost you about 60 euro and that's for um, for whole life um, membership and I have it I got no limitations so guys if you are traveling a lot just make sure you are getting this verification membership and you are sending unique messages you're meeting some people and uh, I hope that was helpful and interesting explanation of how to use Couchsurfing app. See you guys, bye bye. So that was my view about Krakow. Right now I'm heading to Eindhoven and then I'm going to Amsterdam. Alright, and see you.